Hello, hi everyone. Welcome back to our channel Total Kiwi. In our channel today, we're going to discuss about a very important topic in Maven. How do we fix the missing archetype while creating a Maven project? First, let's understand what is a archetype. So let's get into the topic. What is the archetype? Archetype is a Maven project templating toolkit. It has following advantages such as it helps us to define the pattern which we are going to use it. It also helps us in maintaining consistency while generating Maven projects. It also helps developers quickly to follow best practices employed in the organization. So what are the different archetypes which are available, which helps us to, to create different types of Maven projects? So if you look into the Maven Apache documentation, it gives us there are so many artifacts of archetypes which are available, which helps us to, to create projects. Suppose I wanted to create a Maven project. So I have to select a artifact as Maven, Maven archetype. I can select a simple here or else I can select Maven archetype quick start. Whenever you install Eclipse for the first time, when you try to create a Maven project, you try to select this archetype. The archetype is Maven archetype quick start. Suppose, for example, I would like to create a J2E application. So you have to select as Maven archetype J2E. So it depends upon the requirement of the project. You can select this as a template which helps the developers to follow one standard process. Okay, so let's get into this topic now and understand how, where are we going to select this while creating a Maven project? So I open Eclipse now. I don't have any projects. Right now I'm going to create a Maven project. So right click on the package explorer, select new. You can see, is there any Maven project option available? If there is no Maven project option available, you can see an other option, click on it and try to select the wizard as Maven wizard. Yes, then you will find Maven project. Click on next here and you can skip simple project, skip archetype selection. We don't want the simple archetype selection. We will go with the Maven project, quick start archetype, click on next. So as per our understanding, what we have to select, suppose for example, if I want a Maven project, I should select as Maven archetype quick start, which is the artifact ID, I should be selecting it, right? So when I open, by default, this got selected. But when I open, this got selected. See, this is the section. But sometimes this option is not available. So how do you download this artifact to select this art, art type while creating a Maven project? For that, it's very simple. We have to click on add art type. Click on add art type. Now we have to provide all the required information. So what is the information we have to provide? We have to provide the group ID as org dot apache.maven.archetypes, copy this, put it here. And the artifact ID we have to provide, artifact ID we can even take it from the documentation, copy this, close. And version, we don't know, you can just, just give 1.1, that's it. We are done, we can fix this archetype missing issue and we can click on OK. By default, it will download from the Maven repository. We don't need to give the repository URL as well. Just click on OK. So it downloads it. Once it downloads, if you want to find out whether it is installed successfully or not, you can even type 
the filter here as R type. Just mention the R type here. Let me copy from the documentation website. Copy it. Just put it here. That's it. You can find this. Then you can click on this. Click on next here. And you can even give the project name as suppose, for example, I'm creating a, a Maven project. Okay. What is the group ID? Group ID is it denotes the organization. Right? Suppose, for example, we are denoting the organization as org.abc. And the artifact ID is nothing but the project name. So here we're going to talk about banking. It's a banking website. So org.abc.banking, it's a package name that we can change it. But as of now, group ID is denoting the organization. That's very important. And you have in this organization, you will be having multiple projects. One of the project name is banking. Let's click on finished. Then you will see the project is getting created. Right. So to understand what is this group ID in detail, if you wanted to know, you can even find out Selenium dependencies, Maven dependencies. You just type it. You will get the link about Maven repository. Click on the Maven repository for Selenium Java. Okay, just go to the just go to the org.seleniumhq.hq. Just click on the link. If you look at if you look at here, I'll just highlight a few sections here. Look at here, this one org.seleniumhq.selenium, org.seleniumhq.selenium, org.seleniumhq.selenium. What do you understand from all these three things is the group ID is same, but the artifact ID, if you see here, the artifact ID is Selenium Java, Selenium API, Selenium Server. So what does it mean? If you look at the group ID, which denotes the high level organization, in that organization, you will be having different projects. So very good example for us to refer for group ID and artifact ID is R dot Selenium H2 dot Selenium is a group ID and you will be having multiple projects for Selenium Server, Selenium Java, Selenium API. But also to understand, we can even go in detail about it. Let me click on this. Selenium Java. If you look at the group ID, let's look into the any stable version here. See here the group ID is there here. The group ID is R dot open R dot Selenium HQ dot Selenium, and you will find the artifact ID as Selenium Java. So this is how you create a Maven project and you can continue start working on the Maven project. So very important point to understand R type. R type is very important. If you miss, if you see that this R type is missing while creating your project, you can go to the website, the Maven documentation website. I will even provide this as a reference, in the documentation. This I'll provide this in the description reference as well you can refer to that try to focus on adding the missing r type based upon the group id artifact id and version so thanks for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe and share to your friends thank you